Hey, we're right here with Gino. What's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shit, watch out. Yeah, yeah, right, man. But yeah, today I'm gonna be installing my. I got this from Hybrid Racing. Uh, they finally came out one for the ninth gen, but got myself a Hybrid Racing uh, short throw shifter and gonna be installing it in my car today. It's gonna be the first time ever doing this, and uh, I guess we'll play, figure it out. Play how, it by ear. Yeah, figure out how, how this should go. But got this, and then the, the springs, and then uh, I guess it comes with uh, another spring actually goes inside here which is a softer spring if you want it to be like you know i guess less stiff but yeah it comes with another spring all right how come did you go with the short shifter from the regular stock well i've been hearing a lot of things about short shifters and how it's a big night and day difference from stock and i kind of like like the stock shifter but i've been hearing a lot of the good things and then it was a black friday so so i might as well couldn't say might enough. as well got you know how to buy a treat to the car yeah for the cells and uh, i just been buying just little modifications here and there like no engine mods it's just been driver mods so like just helping me out on you know making the driving experience a lot better right on right on here you go all right well first of all i guess we gotta remove all this crap that i have out of here are those masks or female panties it could be both, man. <laughs> Never know. All right, I guess uh, first we're gonna remove the shift knob, and then after that, uh, try to remove this whole center console, and uh, we'll go from there. But fuck, how many turns you have to give it? <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. Never taken off the shift knob before. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's, it's in there, all right? It's in there, it came out. I guess there's something else with it too. Seems. There you go, the guy has his pry tool. Yeah, that's all I have though right now. I still gotta get my other tools. That's if I could even try to take this out. Probably thinking. If the whole console comes out, probably not it. Cause I know my 240 app, but pretty sure it does they have to put it in one way or another yeah. like i don't know either that or we take this one out there all right oh, it's done. Well, you find yourself doing it. It's two clips right here, pull out. Same thing for the silly red lighter. Two clips, pull out. We have to kind of figure it out. I'm um, guessing we're gonna need a screwdriver. Take this one, take that one, and I know there's a clip over here, and there's then two like on this side. two clips on that side, and uh, I think there's some clips, some screws that we have to take out that side, and then. Uh, I think the full center console might come out already. No, already. We'll see that. Shit, it fucking seems like it's already fucking loose. <laughs> wow, that's a good one. Wait, wow, that's not good. Not that one. This one's not gonna fit there, I can tell you that much. I just can't get it in, right? Damn. That's not me. Got that one out. Now let's try to take these clips out. this clip out I should have done that to begin with <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's the part that goes back yeah that sucks uh, let's go with this clip right here that one goes out and then Now you have to remove all the mystery stuff in as in, as in the storage container. 
And is that gonna go in there? No, it's not. Nope, not gonna reach. So he has to get those that two. One out. That one out. And I think that should be it once uh once we get those. give you that I'll be really scared to start taking apart my new car uh, again sometimes it must happen yeah but it's 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 nothing hard you know it's it's I guess it just I don't see if it was the engine and they're taking it apart then yeah but if it's something like this I think that should be it I could be wrong Reason it wouldn't come out, got that bolt right there. Hey, that's the only one. Yep, that's it. That's it. Let me go ahead and put this screw inside here, that way I don't forget about it. There you go, exactly. Not that screw. Uh. Look, is this a USB? Oh, this is a USB plug, huh? <laughs> oh, should I have one? Yeah. and I think um, in order to get to this we're gonna have to remove one two three bolts to take this little plate off and and then uh, after that I think we should be able to uh, get to the four bolts and then get to the to the wires over here to uh, take those off and I think that should be almost it got me okay. Oh, I think I'm gonna need an extension for sure. Except for this one. Get that one out. And then I'm gonna need an extension for the other ones. Got that one done. No, that's it. That's all we have to take off. So it's just uh, two of them. Uh, one here and one there. Huh, put pretty. this. Put this here. That way I don't lose these. Cause knowing me, I tend to lose stuff pretty easy. And uh, I think we should remove these this right here just so that it doesn't get in the way and i think i see uh two uh 10 millimeters make life easier that way it always does because i'm pretty sure it's going to bite us in the ass later if i don't move this out the way there's that one and then there's There it goes. Got it. Yeah, it is gonna make life a lot easier. Let me put this back in there. Screw that on there. And I think all we have to do now is just um. I think we could remove these clips now so that we can uh, 
take this off. And how do we remove this? These uh well, there we go. So we're gonna remove these to get the shifter cables out. Oh, okay. Well luckily my hand was there, there's a washer there, so Ooh. make sure you get that. I'm pretty sure the aftermarket should come with its own stuff, so I'm gonna try to put this you know what I'm gonna save this for later I'm gonna put everything back together uh, I think this is the hard part right here where I'm supposed to separate this yeah you definitely need a freaking screwdriver for this one flathead easy to spread it open but I can take it out there we go she's out beautiful and then um, gotta take that out let's see if we can Supposedly we're supposed to uh, counterclockwise, so clockwise, counterclockwise, right? Yep. Let me see what the hell is this. Okay, there goes that clip right there. Push that to the side. Oh, okay, I see it. I thought it was going to be more difficult, but it's a pretty easy clip that it just... Man, that's pretty. It's not easy. How they say it is. How they make it seem. Right? Oh, I thought I had it, but I, I think this is in the way right here. Oh, shit. I'm trying to figure out more crap to take out. Maybe we should take this out and then. Once we move this out the way, we should be able to get it. Yeah. So now we're gonna go ahead and remove these four bolts. Or it should be four or three, I don't know. Seems like the, the wires in the way. The shifter cable. I Am I getting it? No, I'm not. No, I'm not getting it. Hey, oh. <laughs> hey oh there, God. buddy. I guess you could just yank it off then. I guess so. No, I should be able to. This off. Forgot how I did it that it was able to spin. All right. Um, wasn't easy to take out. These are kind of a pain in the ass, but basically, uh, lift up the clip over here or lip move this clip. Uh, try to turn it counterclockwise but it's gonna be hard but you can go ahead and do it as much as you can and then kind of play with it just to kind of yank it out and once you get those out it should be pretty but it's it's a, it's a tough battle but we got it though we got it uh, now to uh, remove uh, the shifter I think it should be able to come out now 
Oh, uh, other than that, I think we just remove this and uh, should pop out. Should pop out, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up breaking it because I'm good at breaking stuff, especially when you don't want to. The more you don't want to break it. Well, because the, the thing is that it. it's it's pretty hard to do it from the inside. You know how it's supposed to squeeze from the inside. Yeah. Right? But I ain't got time for that shit. Well, maybe I do, but. Car's a keeper. Fuck. Yeah. You won't miss it. Yeah, this is not gonna kill anybody. It's anyway. not gonna bring down the depreciation value. Oh, crap. Bam, right there. There you go. And the shifter's out. There she goes. Now, time to install the new one. <laughs> That's the fun part. That should be a lot easier. I hope. Exactly. They did say about an hour, probably about an hour and a half, two hours, what they said. <laughs> Does it count when you know what you're doing? Um, I'm pretty sure it'll be a lot less. If, since now, since now I know what I'm doing, I'm pretty sure it could get done within an hour. But since this is the first time, I do see why it takes two hours because you're learning as you go. Exactly. You know, you don't want to rush into it, break stuff. You know, you want to be finessing it. So, uh, let's see how this goes. Now, see now, if we can, uh, now if I can just figure out how to put everything back together. That should be fun, right? Yep, always. It's that right there. That right there and that right there. Wasn't well, too hard. Ten hours later. Shit! Still not done. Okay, these are the two clips that are gonna go to the shifter cables. This we don't need because I'm not gonna switch it to a softer spring. I'm just gonna hand tighten him that way I can adjust it. Just to move it around. Yeah, just to move it around a bit. Cause I know that's what I'm gonna have Pretty to do. Pretty cool hardware. Yeah. That's the one thing. When you go with quality parts, you get quality hardware. Everything looks well machined and well built. There you go. Couldn't find the right hole. Dang. Well, th this one does have four. Two easier. Duh, it's always the last two that are the hardest. Does uh, this short shifter work with your um, stock knob? Your stock um, console? Yeah, it's just that uh, uh, we're going to find out every how everything goes back together right now. Sweet. This clip here. I can just keep this here for now. So to put this back on, we're gonna counterclockwise again and uh, try to see how this can even go in there to begin with. Okay, uh, from what I see, it's not gonna be easy. Ow. I'm trying to figure out how to even get that in there. There you go. And there we go. Oh, it has like a little slanted side, huh? Yeah, it does. So we clip that in. Good there. Put that there. Put this little cutter pin back over here. And I think that should be it for that side. Now we can go ahead and do this side. Oh, this is gonna be pretty tough. Oh, it's by the carpet? Uh, maybe I should have uh, put this down there to begin with. <laughs> Oh, well, I guess we gotta take this off. Make sure you guys go put that down there first. 
Hey man, you live and you learn, right? Live and you learn. That's a good thing you didn't tighten anything down. Nothing was permanent. Oh, this is the hard part right here. Oh, I'm trying to take this one back out. Oh, don't tell me I'm gonna have to do it. Come on, baby. There we go. Maybe I should try to put this in first. Come on, baby. I might even do it. There we go. There you go. Put the clip in there. Now let's go ahead and uh get this puppy in there. Ow. That's not gonna be easy. So we're gonna have to spread this bad boy out to get that oh. in there. Am I supposed to take off that plastic rubber piece? No, huh? That stays there, okay. Oh, wow, this thing is not easy. I don't know how people do this. There we go. <laughs> Bam, she's magic there. Magic word, you said the magic word. Yep, I guess so. And I guess if you guys want, there's a hole right there. Stick that sucker back in there. And now we put everything back together now. It's gonna take like another hour. Nah, I say about half an hour. This is pretty, pretty hard. That one's gonna be hard to do. Cause now it's under tension, huh? Yeah. Maybe we should uh, have done that last, but hey. I should do this one over here, the hard one first. Well, these are both hard to begin with, but. <laughs> that one, it, gets, it gets, seems like it gives it less hand space. Yep. Okay, that one's not even in yet, but okay. Move this crap out the way. I feel like I want to take this off just so that I could have some wiggle room, you know? Yeah. Because... He's putting it under tension, huh? Yeah. Well, I can tell you it's a lot easier to take out now. The only thing is that I will have to remove this again. Oh, shit.
think it moved again, though. Did it? No? Okay. No. Yeah, it's, it's in there now. I guess I'm gonna tighten them up before I put this back on there. We'll get the Allen keys. Let's try a six. Yep, it's a six. six. That one popped off then, so it wasn't in. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take these both of these out then, just so that I can do those over there first. I think I'm gonna have to take this off then. I think I'm gonna have to take this one off too. Then fuck, it sucks, <laughs> cause it's still giving the tension. Oh shit. It's not as much, but I think we could work with that. Okay, this one's finally in all the way now. I'm loosen it up a bit. Get this one. Put it in. Yeah, I got it in now. Now they just tie them up now. If I can put stuff in, put the bolts in, you know, it'll make his life a lot easier. Very true. This is why a shop comes in handy. Yeah, but then you have to pay for it. Yeah. So that's somewhat tight already. That's tight. Tight. Now let's uh, put these bad boys back. Actually, let's put this one in first. Because this one's already in there. Hopefully I can stick it in there since that's already in there. Oh, fuck, I got stuck again. Let's do this one. <laughs> Going to the one that wants to cooperate first. Yep. Which is gonna be this one. I'm trying to figure out which way is it gonna go in. Bam. Put that Beautiful. clip in. Oh fuck, I wonder if I have to take that off again. Which I don't want to. What the boat? This over here to disconnect oh. it from this. Um it's already in there, that's why I don't wanna it was pretty hard to get in there. Yeah. I think I'm gonna have to. Probably 5.30 and it's already this dark. No. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna have to take this off. New! Oh, it's gonna change my battery stuff. It took a while. Get those in there. fucking things in. Oh, snap. Does it feel? Really short. I think it's too short for my liking. I might want to switch it out to the other side, but it's really short, man. Wow. But it, it feels good, but it's really short. Ooh, I don't, I don't like this. I have to adjust it to right there, and then I tighten this up. But other than that. feels way better than really yeah yeah I will have to adjust this part right here tighten it up because it's kind of loose but other than that it's the strolls are really really short <laughs> I, I I think they're a little bit too short for my liking so I might have to uh fuck, take this out and put them one higher man oh shit 
I'll try it like this for now. Mm -hmm. And then uh, if I don't like it, if I if I can't get used to this being this short, well, I guess I'll just drive it around to see how it feels first. Yeah. Before I change my mind, and then if I go the other way and then not like it, but other than that, it it feels really 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 short. Wow. Different size, but yeah. I'll do that once I put everything back on. But other than that, I think we're good to go to pack, put everything back together. Cool. Now it's remembering how it went. All I know is that this somehow goes here. And how I don't know where that goes in there. So we're putting back stuff together now. Um, put this plastic back on. I don't think it's fully on there from what I see <laughs> from the top or the bottom the hell I just lost a screw right now one of those right now I think it's not on from right here correctly no it's on I guess it's supposed to be held on for so that it won't go deeper right there yeah I think I just lost a screw right here I know but the other one the other one? Oh, there it is okay I know I know it fell down somewhere I'm trying to figure out how does how did this go again to go something like this. Good question. No. You to go something like this. Good question. That looks more. That, that looks more practical. All right. Oh yeah. <laughs> that bolt wants to be free. Set it free. If you set them free, they'll be happier. Apparently, they say. Then. Yeah, once you feel it, you, you're gonna probably be saying that this shit is extremely short. I already it feels, short it feels nice. If it, it, um, it, I see what people say, how it feels a hundred times better than the stock shifter, but I think it's just too short for my likings. Power tools for the fucking win, huh? Yes, sir. Next, uh, this little bracket over here, right? Yeah. It's this screw, and I think this screw, and that's it. And then there's a screw in it already, so. And that goes to the console, right? I'm trying to figure out is it this way? This way? Yep, this yep. way. I think the hardest part was trying to put the shifter cables back on. Yeah. Other than that, everything else was a cake. A piece of cake, it's just the shifter cables. God damn. Damn. Now I see why it takes that long to fucking do because just because of the damn shifter cables. Mm, yeah. I think it's just the console, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, I just dropped the screw. Yeah. It landed right there, too. And that's the screw that goes in here. Think, should I uh, keep this or not keep it? Do I not keep the boot? Does it keep the boot or not keep the boot? Good question. 
guess why not right now. Is it, is it even gonna go in? Yeah, I was gonna say it's gonna be. Think it's gonna be. Yeah, uh, I guess it's not going in. So let's take this crap off then. Dang. Pretty sure it fits. I'm just not doing it right. Probably. Try it up. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it this way. Nope. That didn't work out. Are you connected? All right. Yes. No. Maybe so. I guess it'll look nice, right? That way. Yeah. All right, time to connect these fucking connectors. Connectors. Nope, didn't go in over here. There she blows. She is done. Um. Not to figure out where is it. Yeah, so this is what I mean about hold on, me able to do a oh, so I could basically oh, okay. do I want it on this side, don't want it there, don't want it oh. there, don't want it there. I think I think I'm gonna go over there. Or do I want it over here, closer to? Yeah, I think I, I, I can go there. Go right there. Yeah. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. We just tying this sucker up, and then you can also do this one where you could adjust this. Do you want it to go down there? Oh, all right, you know, do you want it like a big old truck? Yeah, I think I'm gonna just go the higher the better for me. Actually, before I do that, let me do this one. That way it could be when I tighten this up. That way. I... You gonna keep your uh, stock shifter? For now, well, I bought another shifter from a uh, hybrid also, from Hybrid Racing. I'm just waiting on it. That's oh, about shit. it. Oh shit. Cause uh, I was like, I was thinking about it. I kind of like my stock knob, but as you can see, it doesn't look pretty at all. <laughs> looks pretty it was janky for the cover yeah so it looks pretty janky so i'm like might as well just that's why i kind of bought the other one all right all right hey like damn why do we have extra screws <laughs> <laughs> all right but then i realized it was for the stock uh shifter but yeah uh, I, I bought another shifter it's a red one. Oh, nice because i was like man should i go black but i was like it's too much too black inside here and then this is red and then it's yeah chrome and then yeah so black interior Kind of went with the red one. Other than that, uh, that's it, man. There you go. Blow. Quick, quick question though. If someone you knew how bought the same shifter and their same same year make and model Civic, if they asked you to help them, would you do it? Um, yeah, I would. Since I already done it, I know I know the hardest part. Is, it's gonna be uh, the damn shifter cables that's going to be the hardest issue other than that everything else is pretty basic you know nothing hard at all okay they would um, just have to supply the beer yeah so what do you think about this man well first when i first drove your car today with the stock shifter are you living in it for the last block before the light it felt short with this one it feels short but it feels nice you know it doesn't feel uh it feels nice and notchy right yeah it even sounds nice too yeah dude it's like <laughs> but i don't know to me i think i might have to drive with this like for a few days and then i might go for the higher settings because yeah, I, I, I think these are for me this is too short for my likings the the throws are 
yeah, dude, look, it's like, no, it feels good. I mean, it's, it feels like a good quality shifter. Yeah. I, I like it. Yeah, it feels good. It just, I mean, I like, I barely drove the car today and stock, it felt, it felt short. Just with the, with the short shifter, it's even super, it just feels like you barely notch it and, you know, go and throw it into gear. But it feels good. Yeah, it, it get, it, and I like it because, like you said, it gives it a good mechanical feel. It doesn't just feel like a yeah. like a regular a regular sedan. It feels more like a sports sedan because now it feels more mechanical. You know, it makes noises. You know, besides you know the 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 easier shifting and the shorter you know. Well, like I said, I kind of want to get just an intake just so that I can hear that induction noise, just so that it could sound nice and sporty. Because right now I kind of. It sounds nice, but I kind of want that induction noise, especially when I go to the racetrack. Yeah, I agree. Definitely agree. Even though Intake is not going to do much for power yeah, It's wise. more of a sound thing. Yeah, it's more of a sound thing. But I like it. I, I approve this. Hybrid racing, you guys did a good job, man. I like Quality. it. That's a short throw. like it's like i'm so used to my civic that I'm, i keep going force i have it i keep going this way trying to go up but now it's like you, know, you have it. one two three four five six like shit. it feels good right it feels, good, it feels confident and inspiring compared to stock yeah you feel like it's not gonna, like you feel like it's gonna like like butter like it's gonna yeah go. Well, I do also have a uh, Amsoil uh, transmission fluid. So All right. When I when I did the change, it, uh, the, the shifts were so much more smoother than from yeah? the stock fluid. Yeah. 